Well, we have official word from the Pentagon that indeed there has been a test of a missile that would have violated the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty. That treaty has now expired, and the USA has conducted a test of a missile that would have violated it. Here's what we heard from the Pentagon. The Department of Defense conducted a flight test of a conventionally configured ground-launched cruise missile off the U.S. West Coast Sunday. The test missile exited its ground mobile launcher and accurately impacted its target after more than 500 kilometers of flight. Now, the test was conducted on San Nicolas Island off the coast of California. We understand furthermore uh, that the test was announced uh, on August 2nd, the very day that the INF treaty uh, expired. Now, the official reason for the United States withdrawing from the INF treaty was that they accused Russia of violating that agreement. Now, Russia has said that they did not and denies violating this agreement. Uh, we've also heard from Russian President Vladimir Putin, who emphasized that Russia won't be the first to boost its military if the USA were not to escalate following the withdrawal of the treaty. This is what the Russian president said. If we receive verified information that the U.S. has finished developing and started producing these systems, Russia will be forced to begin its own full-scale development of similar missiles. So even after the United States withdrew from the INF Treaty, uh, we did not see an escalation from Russia. However, the United States has proceeded to test this missile that would have violated the treaty. Now, it's important to remember that the INF Treaty was signed in 1987, and it was a key moment in the scaling down and de-escalation and eventual end of the Cold War. However, uh, that INF Treaty uh, that banned uh, nuclear and missiles of a certain length is uh, no longer in effect. Now, Russia has repeatedly reached out to the United States for dialogue around this issue, but so far uh, the conversation hasn't seemed to start.